what is up guys welcome back to life on the wrist hope you guys are doing well happy monday everyone um today we're going to do something that we've gotten some positive feedback on and also some negative feedback but i think this is i've had i've enjoyed kind of going through them with you we're going to be going over another catalog this one is for nomos um nomos is um another brand that um, i really really love i love the simplicity in their style but also the fact that um, they make some really beautiful watches these are made in germany <clears throat> in glashütte which is where Nomos is made, uh, Nomos is based. So what I thought we'd do is just go over their collection, like we have with Alang and Zuna and Igor Le Quickly and Patek Philippe. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that, and I say it every single time, uh, be sure to smash that like button as well as subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, so uh, like I said, Nomos is um, a German company based in Glashütte. We did a video where we talked about what what you can do in Glashütte to travel and visit things that will allow you to kind of feed your watch itch. And we did one on Glashütte. Nomos was one of the brands that we talked about. <clears throat> this catalog um, what is from April 2019, so it's a little bit older um, than some of the other catalogs that we've looked at. But this is essentially their collection as of that date. Um, I really like the fact that this is actually kind of just like a book. It's kind of no frills, just very simplistic. It almost reminds me exactly of their watches. Um, you know, you can see the one on the front. You know, if you compare it to Jäger uh, Le they had their um, they had their Westminster Chime uh, watch on the front, which was extremely complicated. But this is just a very simple time only watch with a sub second style. So I think this is a good testament to what Nomos really is um, as a brand. Um, so that's the book um, that you get when, when you order it. Um, you can order this online from the Nomos website. Um, one of the things that comes with it is this um, price list uh, for um, as of the, the day of the catalog, which is April 2019, and this is in US dollars. So you can see they basically list out all of their references <clears throat> and um, how much they're gonna cost in US dollars, which I think is cool. Um, at least you have a good good idea of, um, of how much these cost. I'm actually curious to see how much the most expensive one is and then how much the cheapest one is. So I'm looking at the Metro Rose Gold Neomatic 39. <clears throat> That's 9,700. I think that might be, might take the cake. Oh, never mind. Um, so they're, they're Lux Ham, Hamelin uh, DUW 2002. Uh, it's the reference 940 is 19,500. I think that's the most expensive. And then the cheapest one, so 1,400, 1,380. Uh, actually, their sundials look like the cheapest thing you can get. You can get a sundial and stainless steel for $185. So, but yeah, that's that's one thing that comes with the book. Um, as you can see the front of it, like I said, is a very simplistic example of one of their watches. It's literally just like a book, which I kind of like, it's, makes it approachable just like the brand. Um, if you open it up, you can see that they have their, um, their <clears throat> table of contents with all of their collections, the different parts of their collections laid out in the page numbers. So we'll just run through that really quickly. So the first one is their uh, Tangenta line, which is what the watch you saw on the front is. So you can see that again, like very simple time only pieces. There's one there with the power reserve right here, which I think is cool. I like the fact that it's a little, the way that they display some of their, their things are a little bit different. Um, their power reserve is in a, you know, a circle. And then if you look at the bottom here, you can see their date at six o'clock, which is not something, you know, you, you, you're used to seeing uh, dates at, um, at, at three o'clock. So that's kind of a cool feature. Um, and then what I, I like as well is they have this really nice layout of one of their watchmakers working on, um, essentially just working. Obviously it's probably staged, but it looks very, very clean. It kind of gives you an idea of, of how they lay things out. Um, one thing I like about Nomos is the, um, the quality of the finishing on the movements as well. And that's something that's a theme throughout this entire book is, um, is the, they show the movements of a lot of these watches. So you keep going through their uh, tangenta, uh, tangenta lines. So they have some different dial variations here, different dial colors, which I which I like. This blue uh, neomatic for the reference one four uh, two is one of my favorites. This is um, a midnight blue dial. Um, blue has become an extremely popular color within the watch industry. Um, I really really I love that. I also like the fact that there's an orange hand which kind of sticks out a lot. 
And again, like you probably saw, there's a nice um, movement shot of that. I'm not a huge fan of this. I wonder how the bracelet fits on, on this one, or kind of sits on your wrist for this one. Um, I'd be curious to see. Uh, I've never tried this one on, um, but I'd be curious to see how it kind of fits on the wrist. Don't really like the the, the crown guards, but that that's, you can't like everything, right? <clears throat> so kind of go through the, this line, then they've got their Tangomatic, which I really like. Um, this is a GMT that they have here, um, which allows you to set the time in kind of a different way than, than you've probably seen in the past. You can see there's um, the time on the one side and then you've got the kind of time zone on the other at nine o'clock. Um, a different way of laying out a GMT. Um, we also did a video where we discussed how GMT works. Um, so it's called uh, Complications Explained. It's part of our uh, Common Watch que question series. So if you're interested in knowing how a GMT works, that, that, that's there. Um, now we're into the uh, Metro uh, collection. This is, um, this is uh, they describe it as a contemporary watch from Berlin-based designer, Mark Brown, um, who, uh, you know, helped with um, kind of creating some of these pieces. <clears throat> And um, I think it's got a lot of his aesthetics. I don't really know a lot of his things that he's designed, um, but uh, um, cool pieces there as well. Again, that midnight blue that's kind of famous for, from Nomos coming out in this collection as well. Then we get into their Ludwig, which I think is supposed to be like their a um, little bit more classic. Well, classic. It's got Roman numerals, so <laughs> you kind of think it is, but... Um, yeah, some, some nice pieces there. Again, playing around with where you actually put that date wheel. Um, that date wheel is looking at, at, at four o'clock, I believe, which is um, another different kind of place. Then you get into their Orient line, which um, is um, basically, they, they say they're reducing, they're reducing watches to their essentials. So hours, minutes, um, literally nothing else that you need. Hours, minutes, sub-seconds, um, very simple uh, sword, uh, not sword, just stick hands and then stick hour markers on there. Um, so you kind of go through these. <clears throat> I like the fact that they can mix it up with display case back versus non-display case back. Midnight blue coming through again. Um, I mean, I just, just look at this. This is midnight blue and then you can see a movement shot right next to it. Just look how beautiful that looks. It really does look great. Um, then you get into their Tetra collection, which is kind of not really my aesthetic. I don't really like the, the way that these are kind of laid out, um, but um, I can see people liking them. And um, then you've got your Minimatics, which are um, another another line from, from theirs. And I think the point of this is that they're extremely slender, so you, they, don't, they don't feel like they um, you know, are so bulky on your wrist. Again, Midnight Blue coming through there. And then you get into their club, which I think is one of their more um, sportier lines, a little bit more, um, yeah, a little bit more sporty. Again, Midnight Blue coming through there. But again, like Nomos is just a simple company that, you know, very, very simple dial layouts. Proportions are, are central and, and yeah. Um, so you get some of those and you got your, their Autobahn collection, which is another designer who worked with uh, Glashütte to create these Autobahn in German means uh, highway, if you didn't know that. So um, I guess that's kind of the inspiration there. And then you have the Zurich line, which is uh, a world time, which um, I think this is actually one of the most affordable world time um, watches. So that's really nice. And then you've got their their Lux and Lambda um, collections here. Um, so, two really nice watches there again. So it seems like the Lux, um, 18 karat rose gold. Um, I think it's their in-house movement. Uh, and it, it, they describe it as the highest form of watchmaking and handcraft. Um, from Nomos Glashütte, and then their Lambda is um, described as uh, its dial seems to be etched, 
seems to have been etched with the tip of a finely sharpened pencil and the movement within is one of the best to ever come out of Glass Hütte. So, um, I actually really like, I think this might be my favorite one, the Lambda. I like the, uh, I really do like that Lambda. And then um, a thing that was uncommon when we first started going through these catalogs, but now it's become a little bit more common is they have a section for their normal movements, which I think is really important. I think this is, it allows you to remember that these are handcrafted um, movements and um, really beautiful moves from, from Nomos. I think that's something that sets Nomos apart. There's their world time, world time uh, movement there. But really, really beautiful finishing on them. Um, and then that, those sundials that I was talking about, you can see here that they're, they're actually, they have some sundials that you can buy. So um, it's their lowest price tag, they're beautiful rings. It's essentially a ring that has, um, it's made out of stainless steel or champagne gold, and it can be worn in the finger or a leather strap. And essentially you can tell time with them. I think that's a really cool thing to do. So that's essentially the, the, the Glass Future collection. I would definitely suggest getting this if you if you haven't you could probably get an updated version being that this is going on almost a year old um, but uh, it's a cool co catalog nonetheless if you want to see some other catalogs we, we've gone through um, check out our channel um, we've gone through companies like I mentioned in the beginning like Gigle Le Contre, Patek Philippe um, and uh, Alanga and Zuna so check those out in, in our in our channel also if you are new and you haven't uh, done this already be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video um, as well. It really does help us out because it pushes our videos to other people. And with that said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.